Hey! Hi guys. We're back again. Hey team, back again. Back again. <laughs> <laughs> we are gonna do a small haul um for the fall. For the fall. Yeah. And so we probably can do a larger one. Cause it's not quite fall here. Fall's like next week. Yeah. But um and it's still hot. It's like eighty five degrees today. Yeah. Today. So. Yeah. All right. So if you wanna so I'll go first. Okay. So most of the things I have are shoes. I'm gonna start with like the least expensive shoe and then kinda move up. Uh the first shoe is like this cute little booty. It's cute. Have like hardware back here. It's gold and the zipper in the back. Can't get it down, but you get the concept. Uh, I got these shoes for nine dollars. Not out of Rainbow. I never shop at Rainbow. Rainbow. At Rainbow. <laughs> but I went in there one day. That's from one of them little boutiques mm -hmm. that you went to. Well. I well, shop in and everywhere, but well, I just went Rainbow. in no. Rainbow, <laughs> like Rainbow. And I was like, but think of the story about these shoes. I picked them the first time and I put them down. And then I had to pick them up again. I had to pick them up the third time. I was like, let me go ahead and get that nine dollar. But I didn't. They look decent. They're cute. Yeah. They were um, cute for rainbow. Exactly. Oh I was afraid they was gonna come out looking look too cheap. So mm -hmm. I was like, I don't. They look. They look pretty cool. They look like the Steve Madden boots mm -hmm. that I kind of have from. And that's so Dillard. popular. What's that? Um, Cognac. Is that what mm -hmm. they're comfortable? Mm -hmm. And then the other shoe I have are these. They're dangerous. They're cute. I don't know who these buy, but I got them from. Uh, we have a store called UAL here. I got them for thirty nine ninety nine. And if they have a website, I'll link it below. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they have another store I know in Louisiana. But, um, yeah, I got these for thirty nine ninety nine, And on the box, the original price, it says $985. What? That's what it says. And, like, UAL is not... <laughs> UAL is very known to have like designer stuff, okay. but just like you get it a, much a deep price. cut. Yeah, but if you look at the shoe, like I mean, it looked like it may be that expensive, and these like this is spikes. they hurt. This is the real deal. That's almost all our, our model colors. Yeah, where well, that's the See, brown you, yeah, yeah, that's the blue. Monica Chia. Yeah, Monica. Ch We'll link, no, okay. <laughs> we'll link it below. And we'll Google it too, mm -hmm. just to double check. I haven't Googled these shoes, but I thought these was cute. And homecoming around the corner, I may pull them out for home. This is a shoe blue. Chelsea State University, go Tigers. Blue. <laughs> so mm -hmm. the other sh the other thing I have is a scarf um, that I picked up at this little boutique off of Gallatin Pike. It's new, but it's um, the money that they raise it goes towards the uh, YWCA. So it really benefit like to help women, better women, and all that good stuff. So it's a Ferragamo scarf that I got for five dollars. Whoa! And that's yeah. all gallon pie. Mm-hmm. What's in there? Um, <laughs> we have a separate conversation. <laughs> we'll talk about it later. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought it was cute. It's it just cute. have like little shoes. And you know what I thought about doing is tying it on one of those bags I got from Italy. Mm-hmm. Because, like, when we purchased those bags, they had, like, cute little scarves. They were steady scarves. trying to sell them scarves, yeah. but they were, like, an extra yeah. scarf. But to have, like, a designer scarf on a nice little bag, that would be cute. And then I got these, um, this is not shoes, but it's, like, these pair of pants. The joggers. Yeah. And they're really casual, really mm -hmm. cute. Um, I got these for, I want to say $14. No, I'm sorry. Twenty four dollars. They were half off. So, mm -hmm. well, was twenty two dollars. So yep. And then did you thrift those too? These this come from a little uh consignment shop. Mm -hmm. So I don't really like to say thrift, but it is like higher end thrift. It's higher. <laughs> it's higher end. I nothing's wrong with thrift. I, I love know. thrifting, I but it. it is like you know consignment shop could be like gentle you newer like stuff. I like consignment shop, but just like fancy thrift stores. I mean, I like them. It's more sedity, mm -hmm. like. I was like, I know I gotta go to the consignment shop to give you a really nice yeah. designer bag. Yeah, like you want some. Mm -hmm. I yeah. So pretty much that's what it's for. Rich people clean out their closet. They send them to the consignment shop. Hey. Hey. Um. Something else I got were these little flats, and they're Chanel. Hmm. So I got this from, and I'm not gonna give the name of this consignment shop. Sorry, <laughs> but um. 
there are because I wanted to talk about my haul. But there are uh, original, I mean authentic. Um, I got from six to four dollars. That was half off of like the little price. And then the last shoes I have are these Gucci loafers. Um, I got this from the same place. They were ninety eight dollars. You gonna at least tell me off. Oh. Camera. Off camera, I would tell my <laughs> friend, and I'm going to take her shopping with me. But I cannot give my secret to everyone, especially people that live, you know, in our hometown. Mm -hmm. And when I try to go, there won't be anything left for me. But that's not kind of selfish. <laughs> it is. But you, know, all. <laughs> but you guys know, like, if you have like this secret little shop, and you, you know, you want to find good things for yourself. You don't want to let everybody know. You may not let your friends or family know, but you're not going to tell everyone. Anywho, I got these little uh, loafers. And I have them in like the leather kind, but for some reason the leather was kind of tight on my feet. Because mm, it's leather. Yeah. You got stretch leather. Mm -hmm. And my feet just didn't look right in them. But the leather ones were so <laughs> You like boxes when you put them on. <laughs> You know, the, the teacher feet when your feet is like real swole, but you still. I was like, let me just leave them there. Gucci and I. I That's how my feet look. <laughs> Y'all, this lady, we were in New Look in London, and I was trying on shoes, and my feet were swollen, but not to the. And that's just from travel swollen. Like, yeah. this lady, Lord, she had a chronic problem. And even the light, the her door, and they were black, like, yeah. a ton of black people in London, by the way. Yeah. And, um, it's a big and her. Just like bread baking. That's yes. the most I could do. And I was like, I know. Like she didn't need to be in New Look. She needed to be like at Jensen's. That's what we have in town. Where they make the special shoes for you to walk in because you have, you know, sweat problems. The shoes that were in New Look, they were like the cute but Yeah, they just look black. You know a little This is from Tori, but something along this line. Yes. Just little cute and shoes. Her... And the fact is that they were it's for nothing that anyone has feet problems. But my neither. thing is, she was determined to get her a pair of flats out that store. And I was her, like, her no. daughter, granddaughter, whatever, was like, are you sure, sure. that you need to, like, yeah, I know it's going to fit. Like, no, girl. <laughs> it was horrible. But that's how my feet look. And then I was just, like, putting on my little yeah. Oxford. I was just like, get what you. are your Oxford? That is a different one. Oh. That'd be a European haul if we ever do it. Which we need to. We done been out of Europe Europe like two months. <laughs> yeah. Still hadn't used all my products. Yeah. But that's everything I have. Um all right, um, so and mine is mostly well, I got some different things, but it's mostly beauty related. But I'm gonna start off with some shoes. Since we just went from shoes, and these are that boots. Cute. And these are the willow. Um, heeled boot and they had a nice cut out mm -hmm. and I got these from Torrid on sale they retail at $69.50 but I got them on sale for $47.50 free sh shipping and these were in wide too so I went down a size um, and they were kind of limited at the time but I'll still go and put the link if it's still there and available to you but you should definitely check out their shoes especially if you have a kind of a um a wider foot they give you cute options so yeah. that again and that's also a zipper so you don't have to unlace all that which yeah. i'm sure you can i like that they put the zipper in the back so you can just easily put your yeah, foot in who wants to unlace all yeah. this which somebody will still try to do it and then it can cause like wear and tear to like the buckles mm -hmm. if you continue to do that let's see and i got some earrings from etsy Ooh. i had just now started to use etsy shops oh, that's pretty. um i've been wanting these bar earrings um, to kind of turn sideways, I've been wanting them for, but I wasn't trying to pay a whole bunch of money for them because the ones that they have in the fashion magazines, mm -hmm. I'm like, and yeah, they might be real, whatever. Yeah. But I ain't paying no seven hundred dollars for this. That's sorry. Let me put it a little closer to the camera. Wait, can you see? <laughs> okay. Yeah, there you go. Hey. And so they're Thank just you. silver, and you could actually get your initials on them, but I didn't want that. And the little shop that it came from is called um, Dainty Bump. And I'll link it below. But these were seven bucks. Wow. And another earring trend that I saw that I wanted from Etsy mm -hmm. is the earring jacket trend. So if that, see if I can do that a little. 
That's her. Cute. So what it looks like is actually you got a stud and you got a jacket. Oh. So that's actually gonna be like behind your ear. Oh, that's like a new that. trend. Yeah, I'm, I've seen like Olivia Wilde with them on. I saw her in like um the In Style. So it's gonna kind of cover around your you ear. You should put it on so we can see. I am gonna put that on. Oh, so we can see how. So you can see then. Let me hold it. Sure. Take out my hoop. <laughs> and I'll just put one in. Did you put that on? Put the little jacket on the back. So that's how they'll look. Oh. And it has the bag, but I'm not doing all that right now. <laughs> and these were ten ninety nine. And yeah, the only ones that I've seen and people try to capitalize on it. I've even looked on eBay and just around. They've been very expensive. And a lot of that stuff is costume jewelry too, even though mm -hmm. it's somebody famous or whatever will have it on, but it's still fake at the end of the day. And I and I'm not paying all that money for fake jewelry. Mm -hmm. And I'll link it down to the store as well. And another thing that I got is a steamer, mm -hmm. which let me put it all together. Now, keep in mind, I got the steamer on sale from HSN um, for $19.99. And this is supposed to be a travel steamer. You should tell me about it. I want one. And this is from um, Joy Mango, her Supreme Steamer, and I got it in teal. Now, <laughs> tell them the story. I love the steamer that I had, which was like half of this size. And I brought it to me when we went to Europe, but it, it died. It just died. I had had it for a couple of years, but this is the best little steam. It was way small. This is not a travel steamer, <laughs> y'all. But I love it anyway. Yes. And it steamed the crap out of your clothes, so it's great. Yeah. But this is not. A travel thing, and they give you a nice. I mean, for nineteen, that's not a, bad. Got a bag. Yeah. yeah, this is huge. Yeah. And um, they still might be having their sale on. I'll go check again. But I love my little travel, my the steamer from them. Yeah. And she has a whole line of things of um, kind of clothes organized, and you know, if you like those velvet hangers, if you want a thing to hang up your belts and hmm. different under bed storages, this, that, and the third. So that and my next I'll get to my beauty items mm -hmm. um this is next one is something I picked up from Mac I went to Mac actually looking for the um Mars Simpson collection that they just had out so I like the um the great pumpkin um but I get more wear out of lipstick than I do out of lip gloss mm -hmm. so I was like do you have anything similar and I went, also went and tried on the Rihanna Viva Glam which is really pretty it just was not for me because there's a bronze lipstick that it's, it's just odd and it's kind of frosty and it's and it is pretty but I don't see myself wearing it it looks kind of older that's what I can kind of think of and um and the gloss for that Rihanna is really pretty mm -hmm. and it's kind of clear and shimmery in it, but it has like but it comes kind of like purpley oh okay but it's, it's sheer it'll be pretty over a lot of lipstick so you can always support you know Viva Glam that way because you know that the money from that goes to A's research so it was pretty and that's her second Viva Glam but that's not what I picked up uh, <laughs> so what I picked up because um close to that great pumpkin from the Mars Simpson collection um is one of their colors it's a cream sheen it's called Ravishing and that's kind of a orangey, woo, yeah, orangey kind of nude. Like, like that. <laughs> that's pretty. And I'll swatch it. We gotta work on our lighting or whatever. This is the, if you can kind of, you can't. Well, you can see it that way. Mm -hmm. But that comes off a nice kind of nudey, peachy. Mm -hmm. I wear it with um a cork um. Cork from Max lip liner. This is just a brown, and it looks good on. So it's a good everyday, which I'm always looking for a good everyday. Everyday nude. And at sixteen dollars, it's in their regular everyday collection. And a lot of stuff I got from NYX. I went to Ulta, and actually got ended up having to get some stuff on Nyx because Ulta has come out with this line of um. Oh, that was pretty. They came up with these line of Simply Vamps 
um, Simply Pink, Simply Nude, and Simply Red. I didn't like any of the nudes, so um, I got, which one did I actually get from Ulta? I got the red, and the rest I got from NYX, but I'll show you. Okay, so the, ooh, the Simply Pink. But it's six. They're six fifty a piece. Okay. But it's just you know cheap little crayons, and they look good on. Mm -hmm. So this color that I got is called First Base. I actually picked this one up in the store. It is kind of similar to purple. Or no, it's and it comes. It's kind of purpley. The kind of lighter one. If that. That's it. And that's simply pink. It's purpley. Gonna, yeah, it looks kind of purpley on. It doesn't look that way right now, but it's got like mm -hmm. an undertone of a purple. Oh, okay. Because like, even when you look at it in the thing, it doesn't look like it'll have like a little, but it seems kind of purpley coming mm -hmm. on. And the other simply pink that I got is called XOXO. And it's kind of a corally mm -hmm. kind of, it reminds me, I wanted to say candy yum yum, but no. Kenny Young Young's way kind of brighter than mm -hmm. that. And it's, it's right pretty. there. It's very pretty on. And also, too, if you kind of want to tone it down, brown pencil. And I only got one color from the red. And it is kind of a vampy red. It's the Simply Red from NYX. It's called Leading Lady. Hmm. And... Oh, that's pretty. That would be pretty fall coming up. And if you're kind of afraid of really bright reds, that's a good kind of starting yeah, point. I may get that one. It's cute. And the price is six fifty. Yeah, That's not bad. Six fifty. Love them in the Simply Vamps, which this one came this way too. I had to order these because these were gone. Mm -hmm. Got these from NYS. The good, of course, they were gone at Ulta because Ulta always had the buy one get one half. So this one is called She Devil. And it is kind of purple. It's a dark purple, like mm -hmm. an eggplant. Mm -hmm. Looks great on. Look, it's gonna look great <laughs> in, in the fall. Yeah. That's pretty. And uh Temptress is another one too. I think I'm gonna do that hand. Okay, too. put it right there. Mm -hmm. I'll start it. That's kind of a well, actually, when you look at that one, that's more red, kind of maroon. This is purple. Yeah. And I just think that looks good when you have a bare, kind of a bare face and maybe have on like a highlighter mm -hmm. and your teeth are looking just white and you got on this dark banging lipstick. Mm -hmm. Love it. Mm, that's all the ones, because I didn't like all those either because some of those were frost. Mm -hmm. um, didn't care for them. And I got some glosses from um, Nick's website and the glosses were... These are their mega glosses, and they're five dollars a piece, which I got a clear because I just don't have a clear gloss, and I don't want all of my um, lipsticks and stuff that I top it off with to have a sheen or anything. So that's it. It just I'll swatch it, but you probably won't see it. So why not? <laughs> just <laughs> just clear gloss. And um, I got this one called Baby Rose. Um, actually, because I looked at that Rihanna, <laughs> and it was really pretty. Mm -hmm. I was like, that would be pretty, but I I generally don't like shimmery lipstick. But mm -hmm. if I get, you know, the itch, I just top off a lipstick or, you know, a pencil or something with it. And it's um, just kind of a sheer, which I wouldn't wear that by itself, ladies. It's the one right here. It's kind of a glittery. As you can see, you probably see it better in the packaging. But that's how it shows up. So you, that'll look great over any lipstick that you have. I might put a little on right now. Why not? Uh, but be careful. You can look a little ashy. Cute. I wasn't expecting it to look like that. Yeah, it's because of that. Because I was a little scared when I actually got it. Because, you know, mm -hmm. I ordered it offline. So, mm -hmm. on that website, which I will link that to. And I got these, I got eyebrow gels, which I've been wanting to um, try these out because they remind me of the ones from Makeup Forever, but they're high. Mm -hmm. And these were like $7. They were $7. And they had run out of them on Ulta, so I had to order these from NYX. 
And the only thing that Knicks or NYX, they use FedEx and it kind of took a long time for them to get here in my opinion. But it's still like a, a week, week and a half, which was a long time. Sorry. <laughs> and I mean, and they, I just had to play around with them, but I would rather play around with this rather than um, the ones from Maker Forever, which mm -hmm. is like $32. Yeah. And, um, so I got that in the brown and in the black. So I might actually end up mixing them. Because if you get the black sometimes, you're going to look crazy. With these big black eyebrows. Which, first of all, most, most black people, you don't have black hair. You have dark brown hair. Mm -hmm. Get with it. So, <laughs> that's that in my last item. It's just a lip pencil from them. Their slim pencil is $3.50. Which color is it? And this is... Nectar. And... It's right there. It's kind of a new. You can barely see it. Mm -hmm. So, that would be a great lip liner. And then, if you just want to... That's a good new lip combo. If you want to just line your lip with this... Or you can fill in your whole lip with it and then cover it with that um that baby rose. That'll be pretty together. So that is oh got one last thing that is not related, but I got a Southern Living. That is like one of my fave magazines. Really? I, I love, love Southern Living. Okay. And they're already doing their <laughs> They are advertising for the holiday book, which I still want to get. Because look at that. Who doesn't want to make that? I feel like as a, as a Southern lady, I want to know how to make. I planted some tomatoes successfully this summer. <laughs> so they turned out good. I made a good cake. I made my first chest pie last week Ooh. for the family reunion. And, but yeah, that's all my autumn coming, mm. which I love autumn. But hey, can we chill out with the pumpkin and everything? I'm not a pumpkin eater. Pumpkin, it's coming. It's yeah. coming out so early. Really? I don't like it. I don't. I like it. I love it. So you, you like the pumpkin lattes from Starbucks? Yeah, I like them. I like it, but my body don't like. It. <laughs> my body don't like it. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm sorry. Tangy, thank you for joining, for joining us in on this haul. We've already talked a little too long. And bye. You guys have a good rest of the day.